G'day, it's Lucia. Welcome to my art channel. In today's video, I'm going to continue swiping because I want to try and master it as much as I can. So for today, I'm going to do one more swipe and then I might change it up a bit next week. So what am I doing? I'm going to do another layered swipe on a substrate, which is, uh, what is it? It's a 15 centimetre which would be a six inch round MDF from uh, Bunnings, Australia. They've got a cute little lip on the side of them. What I'm going to be using is my British Paints black exterior paint as the pillow. Someone was asking me the other day, what's the difference between the British Paints black low sheen interior and exterior? I believe from my uh, what my good friend Venom from Venom Fluid Art says that the exterior one is thicker. It's also you can get it off the shelf. I'm not sure whether you can get the interior off the shelf. My understanding was you couldn't. It may have changed since last time I was, went to Bunnings to buy some paint. But when I went last time, the exterior was off the shelf. The interior you had to <coughs> excuse me have it mixed. So that was why I went for the exterior but yeah uh, Venom reckons that it's uh, thicker than the interior so it, I guess it depends on what you want in summer it's not going to make too much difference because it does thin out a little bit I guess in winter it has been thicker I have noticed that it is a little bit thicker in winter all right so black British paints pillow before I start that, I'll give you what, tell you what the colours I'll be using are. The colours I'll be using are, I've fallen in love with this Matisse Southern Ocean Blue, which I've mixed with um, iridescent pouring medium from Liquitex. So I don't know whether that's, you can see that. Then I will be adding some more spring colours this, uh, for this one. This is Black Diamond Hunter's Green. Quite a nice, oops, quite a nice colour, that one. Uh, Pebio Iridescent Blue Violet. That's gorgeous. Um, Perlex Rose Gold. And finally, uh, Prism Pour, out of the colours, Prism Pour Platinum Rose. So we're going to get two different, a bit of gold and a bit of silver going through, I think. All right. Now, the layer on the top, because I don't have any black or white Amsterdam mixed, and the only Amsterdam I've got at the moment in colour, other than black and white and paints grey, is the uh, yellow green. So that'll be the top layer. So that'll be interesting to see what'll happen, if it'll kill all the other colours or, or what'll happen with that. But we'll give it a go and see what happens, hey? All right, wish me luck.
Mmm. Very nice. Don't want to waste the paints that I've knocked off the edge there, and they are falling off the edge already because there is a little too much paint. I think I'm going to lose a lot of these beautiful cells, much to my disgust. I'll just let them, and I'll pick them up off the table. Yeah, I think I put a little too much paint on that, sadly. So I'm going to lose, oh, those colours are beautiful. They actually worked out better than I thought. I'll just pop that around the edge. I thought that green was going to overtake it, but it hasn't. bummer hmm I'm gonna lose probably a lot of that because it's quite a lot of pillow silly me it's always the case all right it goes off that edge don't want to lose those they're beautiful I might just go a little bit that way and I'll pick that up yeah All right, yeah, those colours are gorgeous. Got that. I think it's probably about there. Looks about centre. A lid on that. Yeah, unfortunately, those those cells, the real beautiful cells that I had there, I lost a fair bit off the side there. And now when I spin, I'll probably lose some more. But we'll see how we go. Hey, okay? clean those up in a minute. All right. Let's give that a spin just to make sure we get all the paint, excess paint off because I certainly don't want it to crack. It's interesting colours. I'm not sure I like that bit there, to be honest. I don't know what happened there. Seems to have, I don't know whether the selectivator, interestingly, selectivator is still really deep there and then it's kind of faded there. I don't know. Interesting. Certainly like the colours. Those colours are very pretty, very spring-like. Yes, some more paint certainly coming off that. if I'd used that much paint on a bigger canvas I might have actually got a little bit of a minimalistic piece <laughs> that has been evading me for the last few weeks <laughs> um, not that I was going for that effect today I'd given up on it practically but I love those colors they're gorgeous Green doesn't look bad actually on top. I thought it would really overtake it like it did the other one, but uh, it didn't. And I think that was probably because I actually layered all the colours this time, whereas last time I sprinkled them, so I lost the sprinkled colours a little bit. And that twinkle I lost on the other one. I didn't put any on this one. All right, I think that's it because it's only coming off a little bit off the edge there. If I tidy, if I grab my little spatula and just give that a bit of a, a wipe, I'll see if any more comes off the edge there. 
I don't think it will, to be honest. I think we got most of it. <clears throat> A couple more spins. Yeah, I'm not really sure about this bit. Don't know about that bit. The rest of it I like. It's nothing exciting, nothing um, fantastic. I mean, those cells there on the green part of it are really pretty. So I like them when they're bigger. But nothing, nothing flash. <laughs> pretty boring piece, to be honest. Um, but I do like the colours. Do I feel like doing another one? I don't know. No, I might not. Not today. I might leave it at that. I've got a few things to do. <clears throat> so I might leave it at that. I'll give that a little bit of a torch because I can see some air bubbles in it. Maybe, yeah, if I burst them, some colour could come through them. Hopefully with a little bit of luck. Yeah, not much is coming off now. All right, one more spin both ways, and I think that should do it. Yeah, so the piece is not that exciting, to be honest. But, hey, it doesn't matter. It was fun painting and mixing those colours. I wanted to try those colours, so I might try it on a bigger, slightly bigger canvas and see if I can get some negative space, which is what my goal would be. All right, I'll bring you down and you can tell me what you think of this rather boring piece. <laughs> Pretty colours, but boring piece. Okay, folks, what do you think? Some interesting cells there. They're quite pretty. Those ones there in particular. Don't know what happened with the uh, cell activator there. It could be because my cell activator dried out and then I put the new uh, flow troll in it. I didn't want to throw it out. Doesn't look so bad there. Just a bit funny there. Really? Those cells are pretty. Interesting. See, they've got a little bit of crazy in there, I think. That's what happened in, the, in one of my other ones on the black paint. Could be the black paint. I don't know. Don't know. Anyway, it's not much to this one. Cells are interesting. There's some little mishaps on it. But all in all, it's it's... It's a boring swipe, really. It's just a swipe. Uh, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you can be notified when the next video is uploaded. The colours are very pretty. You can sort of see the platinum rose and the rose gold through there mixed together. That's my dishwasher. Playing its music in the background. Competing with the rain, which is starting to get heavier. All right. Until next time, see you later. Bye.